When I build my ponds, I like to follow the ecosystem approach. Like the pond guy says, I like to work with mother nature, not against her. In my ponds, I have DIY filters. In these filters, there are bacteria and microorganisms that consume waste products and help to purify the water. Inside the pond, I have rock, pebble and plants, and these further enhance the ecosystem, providing extra surface area for bacteria and biofilm and giving microfauna areas to hide. Throughout the year, sediments do build up. Inside this mulm, detritus, whatever you want to call it, is lots of bacteria, algae, diatomes, photoplankton, invertebrates, snails, worms, and other weird and wonderful things. All these strange little organisms are helping to break down and consume waste, and they also form a food chain. A lot of these little life forms are generally invisible to me, as they're too tiny to see. But recently I was contacted by a company, I'm just going to call it OPQPQ, I'm not really sure how to say their name. They sell microscopes on Amazon, and they asked me if they send me one, would I do a video on it? I thought, sure, I'd love to see what's lurking in my ponds, so here we are. The microscope came in a little carry case. It has a charging cable, a few slides, although mine were broken during transport, an easy to understand manual, and of course, the microscope. Now, I'm no microscope expert, and I think this is my first time using one. I don't even remember using one at school. But I did like that the microscope has a decent sized screen that you can clearly see what you're looking at. You can also connect the microscope to your smartphone or computer and take photos or record video straight onto your device. And that made it easy for me to share some of the things I saw with you guys. I'm certainly not renowned for my videotography, so this made it nice and easy for me. So let's take a look at some of the things I saw. This is my first time exploring my ponds on a microscopic level, so I don't know what I'm going to find. And I'd love if you know about this sort of stuff, if you could tell me what you see. So I started off with some mulm from the courtyard pond. <laughs> like I said, I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but it was still quite fascinating. There seemed to be quite a bit of diversity in what makes up the mulm. I then moved to an area with thicker coverage, and here I could see small things swimming around quickly. Then I zoomed in a bit and there was something waving around in the top left corner, but I couldn't get it into focus. As I was zooming back out, this monster came flying in like Pac-Man and then vanished. Then I collected some string algae. I didn't see much action in here. Although seeing the structure of the algae up close was interesting, there was like an almost invisible energy or pulsing around certain strands. It didn't seem to capture it as well when I transferred it onto my phone as what I could see on the little screen. I've often talked about how I find string algae to be a problem that disappears over time as the pond matures. Seeing the lack of diversity compared to the mulm makes me think that this has something to do with it. Next I collected a leaf that was already half broken down. Here I could see some type of organism that looks like it's actually eating away at the leaf. While I was there I also grabbed a piece of submerged milfoil. This was just interesting seeing, I guess, like the cell walls of the plant. Lastly, I scooped up some crystal clear water. These critters were my favourite that I saw. I think they're rotifers, but let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's what I saw in the samples I took. So thanks to the company for sending me the microscope. If you'd like to check out the microscope, there is a link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it interesting. If you saw something unusual or scary that's living in my ponds, let me know. 
As always, thanks for watching. See ya.